Today we will be reviewing the top 10 Roblox Tower Defense games that me and my friend believe you should play right now. Number 10, War of Defenders. This game is very unique in the aspect that you can shoot the enemies rather than just standing idly around. You're smaller than the enemies, the tracks are huge, there's a season pass, there's leveling rewards, and for those with gambling addictions, you can gamble most of your earnings away. Pets that are purely cosmetic, but honestly, it's not that great, unless you can get around the fact that the developers never fix their bugs, basically. It's almost as if they don't even support the community, some towers are just stupidly broken and unmatched. Number 9, Cube Defense. A game where time doesn't stop. Cube defense is a painfully hard game where you can't skip waves, certain events happen during the weekend in which you can obtain super powerful towers. This game is quite fun due to the fact that it always keeps you on your toes when trying to go through the rounds, but in the end, it's number 9 for one whole reason. The elevators. I cannot stand elevators in tower defenses, and I don't think you would enjoy them either, especially when you have to do this. I just want to play the game. Number 8, Evolution of Aid. This is a game that goes through many different arrows. You begin as a caveman, and then you get to the point where you obtain futuristic technology, or when you progress through quests, you can even obtain the help of certain Greek gods. The difficulty in this game isn't all too much, however, the concept is there, the gameplay is too, how even the graphics are not too bad in its own aspect. With really cool bosses and enemies, it's overall quite a good game, but still nothing compared to the top 4. Number 7, Pixel Gun Tower Defense. A game that has many modifiers and a throwback to an old game, Pixel Gun Tower Defense is not only great in gameplay, but also in difficulty and uniqueness with regarding how to play the game. Each tower allows you to pick the character and weapon for the unit before placing it down, and this can be changed mid-game, meaning the variety is always there, and sometimes very needed. On top of that, you are given ability slots which can be used to help against stuns from enemies or even just farm some extra money. And some maps feature unique objects such as the one we're playing and allows you to teleport your unit, which definitely saved us more than a few times. In the end, it's just a nostalgic and unique tower defense game that you should check out. Number 6, SAP Tower Defense. Out of all the other tower defense games on this tier list, this is easily one of the hardest that we played. It has good graphics, stupid bugs such as flying enemies, only visual though, a huge difficulty spike from XK to ZK difficulty, evolution for towers, spouse for in-game use, and certain maps such as Wanderer's Library unlocks special units who are a huge help when you get them. Overall, it's a really good game and for those who love SCP or tower defenses, perhaps both, it is definitely worth playing at least once. Number 5, Tower Blitz. Tower Blitz is amazing in its own regard due to the modifiers you could apply to normal gameplay. The vast amount of maps, quest allow you to unlock certain towers, three different difficulties, polished graphics, and overall great gameplay with towers being able to be upgraded down two different paths. Awesome boss fights. The only downside would be how little amount of towers there are, but in the end, it's really a great tower defense game. Everything past this point in the video could be deemed as the number one tower defense. They are all just as good because they're so unique in their own deviations in gameplay, or it's because it's perfected in its own matter. Number four, Aether Rush. Ever wondered what an RTS game combined with a tower defense would look like? Well, Aether Rush does an amazing job at that. Albeit, the graphics may not look too great in this game, however the gameplay is so unique it definitely deserves the spot. You can move units like an RTS game towards the enemy, you can move units into rings to gain extra rewards, there are a ton of maps, a ton of towers, unique perks for towers, and for those with gambling addictions you can open crates for the perks. It's honestly such a lovable game and it's a challenging yet fun game. Number 3, Tower Defenders. Originally known as Realm Rush, this game starts off amazingly with absolutely stunning graphics. On top of that, there are many, many towers each with some absolutely amazing skins. Barrack units who block ground enemy paths, spells that you can use to help out when need be, random events that happen during the game, and to top it off, the PvP in this game is almost like its own game. You can buy troops who then attack other troops, each competing to take down the enemy from 100 health down to 0 before you're taking down yourself, almost like the OG Flash game Stick War. Number 2, World Tower Defense. This game is placed here due to the fact of how difficult it is. On top of that, your units die. It's really unique in the aspect that you can place your units out on the actual track the enemies go, and you can even have some units who move on their own, and some that just stands still. And even though it does have elevators, you can customize them so you don't even have to let randomness into your games. You can choose any map and modifiers, so it is completely fine. Accessories that you can equip, and there are even secrets littered all over the game, such as a secret tower, secret bots, and much more to find out if you play the game. Number one, tower heroes. We decided to put tower heroes as the number one normal genre tower defense in Roblox because the challenge of the entire game is there. On top of that, it heavily emphasizes that you need multiple people to the point where in the past, me and my friends have made alt accounts to even beat certain maps. There's tons of modifiers, skins that apply to the tower, and even change key things, such as a spectre tower, which normally plays music, however, depending on the skin you put on it, it plays different types of music. There's tons of different towers, maps with unique enemies and bosses, and it even has its own unique art style. The amount of content and replayability in this tower defense is absolutely unreal, and that's why we believe it. it's the number one normal genre tower defense. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.